In this video, I am going to explain my process of sculpting characters. There are a couple of steps to note of and follow in the process of sculpting a character. The first step is reference. Start with gathering some good quality and quantity of references for various parts of the character. It helps to focus and absorb more shapes and details. Look at the mood board for how I gathered and arranged my references and try to avoid CG refs as much as possible and go for real life reference. And now let's move on to primary shape sculpting. Accurate primary shapes are key factors to asset. The overall form and silhouette should be achieved in this step. We can use a skeleton for measurements and base mesh for the forms. But I am starting with the spear. I have blocked the head and other parts as well. While sculpting the primary forms, try to focus on big shapes and forms. Try not to sculpt the secondary shapes or muzzle breakups and do not focus on details at this stage. The most important thing that should be achieved here is the anatomy. If you know anatomy, it's a great thing. But if you don't know and want to learn, I'll suggest a book called Animal Anatomy for Artists by Elliot Goldfinger. It's a great book and it covers a wide variety of animal anatomy. I also personally use it and I'll give the link in description. So when we feel that primary forms are in good shape, we shall move forward in making the secondary shapes. Sculpting secondary forms are a bit tricky and need a good observation as well as the sculpting skills to make it look natural. The secondary form includes the muscles, muscle breakups, bigger skin folds and of fat proportions. While sculpting, we need to make a good study regarding the natural shape of the character. What I mean to say is, some characters look lean, some will be bulk, some will be abnormal, some will be normal. The animal with a good gesture and the normal muscle buildup is the one we need to choose and sculpt. So for that, we need to do a research about how does the healthy shapes and forms of a character looks like. Along with that, we need to sculpt the bigger skin folds. While sculpting, try to sculpt logically and normally and try to avoid the repeated patterns. In the video, you can see that I have sculpted the skin details at this stage. I did it on purposely just to check whether it's looking naturally or not. If you also want to check like that, I would recommend to use the layers by which you can increase or decrease the depth of details and can also easily remove them. Uh, moving forward with the tertiary shapes like uh, minor forms, skin, skin lumps, veins, wrinkles, etc. The minor forms on the face, elbows, knees and the cuts on a uh, palm and feet should be done alongside with the wrinkles, veins and skin lumps. So here comes the task to make everything look natural and realistic. And the major thing here will be sculpting the skin impression. And while sculpting the nerves and veins, we need to keep in mind that where to bump out and where to blend it in, in the skin. And this should look very natural and also the skin folds, we should check and keep where the folds look saggy and where it just becomes a skin cut. The folds acts according to the gravity and the motion of the particular character. So while doing it, be careful and make a skin fold looks natural. And making it looking uh, realistic and natural is a bit tough, but be patient and give your best. And then uh, use the alphas to make a skin pores and break the symmetry of the character according to the key reference and try not to mess up with the anatomical features of the characters. Then if you want to pose it, you can pose it or just do a quick QC and clean up. And that's it. I think the model is ready. Let's recap every point. Uh, first step is the primary shape. Second is the secondary. Third is the tertiary. Fourth is the breaking symmetry and fifth is the skin pores. So if you like the video and uh, want to learn more about the 3D, please do like, share, comment and subscribe to my channel.